All right, imagine beating traffic by flying above it in your own car. What is this thing, and why am I flying it? What if your morning commute involved launching vertically from your driveway instead of sitting in gridlock traffic? What if business trips happened at near supersonic speeds in jets that rewrite the laws of aviation? What if weekend getaways meant floating to the edge of space in a luxury capsule with Michelin-starred cuisine? This isn't science fiction anymore. Right now, across the globe, engineers and visionaries are building aircraft so revolutionary they're about to make everything we know about transportation feel ancient. Buckle up. The future of flight is here and it's absolutely wild. Let's start with something that sounds completely impossible. A flying experience where you don't even need to be a pilot. Where the journey matters more than the destination. And where you can literally see the curve of the earth while dining on world-class French cuisine. Zafalto's Celeste capsule is redefining what luxury travel means by taking passengers 25 kilometers into the stratosphere not in a rocket, but in an elegantly designed pressurized balloon capsule. Imagine six passengers nestled in cocoon-like seats, surrounded by panoramic windows, showcasing views most astronauts never see, all while enjoying Wi-Fi connectivity and absolute silence as you cruise through the upper atmosphere. The six-hour journey isn't about speed, it's about the experience itself. Designed by renowned architect Joseph Durand and certified by the European Aviation Safety Agency, this isn't some billionaire's fantasy. It's scheduled to launch in 2025. With 11 patented safety systems and construction from lightweight composites that minimize environmental impact, Celeste represents something profound. Space tourism without the violence of rocket launches. But if serene stratospheric dining isn't your speed, all right, imagine soaring above the traffic during your commute. Well, this week, an Aleph Aeronautics Model A became the world's first flying car to receive FAA flight certification. It is one of the closest steps I have seen so far to the realization of uh, us being able to get into a flying car and being able to easily move from point A to point B. China has officially crossed the threshold into a future we've imagined for decades. Flying cars are now mass-produced reality. The Goy Air Cab by GAC Group isn't a prototype or a concept sketch. It's a sleek two-seater electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle ready for urban skies. Picture this, carbon fiber construction, gull-wing doors that open like a supercar, and a top-mounted rotor system that lifts you smoothly above traffic. With a 30-kilometer range and charging technology that hits 50% in just 15 minutes, this isn't designed for cross-country journeys. It's engineered for the daily urban grind. The interior features 5G connectivity, voice control, and intelligent obstacle avoidance that makes flying almost effortless. Perhaps most impressively, it includes emergency safety features like a separable passenger cabin, priced at around $233,000 and entering mass production by 2026, the air cab isn't asking if flying cars are possible, it's asking if you're ready to buy one. Meanwhile, if China is making flying cars accessible, the United States is chasing something even more audacious, hypersonic flight. The quarter horse MK-1, developed by Hermes, represents a fundamentally different approach to aircraft development. Built in just seven months and powered by a GEJ-85 engine, this unmanned jet successfully completed its maiden flight at Edwards Air Force Base in May 2025. But here's what makes it extraordinary. It's not the final product, it's step one in a three-phase plan. The Quarter Horse MK-1 masters high-speed takeoff and landing, MK-2 will achieve supersonic speeds, MK-3 will feature a turbine-based ramjet engine capable of exceeding Mach 3. Hermes is essentially building and flying one aircraft per year, iterating rapidly toward the goal of commercial hypersonic travel. Think about what that means. Crossing the Atlantic in under an hour, flying from New York to Tokyo faster than you can binge watch a Netflix series. This isn't gradual progress. It's aerospace revolution at breakneck speed. While the flying car um, works as a regular car, as a regular electric vehicle, it's 100% electric. Uh, you can drive it on the car as you would drive any car. Now let's talk about drones, but forget everything you think you know about them. The Axis MU-1 by Eric Systems is redefining what's physically possible in unmanned flight. This compact French-engineered marvel measures just 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters, yet it can maneuver in any direction, fly completely inverted, and hover with centimeter-level accuracy. How? Through a patented gyroscope-like propulsion system that gives it omnidirectional capability. It reaches speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour, handles winds up to 100 kilometers per hour, 
and covers 20 kilometers in only 15 minutes. The modular design supports AI systems, sensors, counter drone technology, and even loitering munitions. Whether navigating tight urban environments or unpredictable battlefield conditions, the Axis MU-1 represents the cutting edge of drone evolution. Compact, agile, and devastatingly capable. But perhaps the most game-changing aircraft in development isn't about speed or altitude. It's about completely reimagining what an airplane looks like. The Jet Zero Z4 features a blended wing body design that merges fuselage and wings into a single aerodynamic shape, slashing fuel consumption by up to 50% compared to conventional jets. This isn't just incremental improvement, it's revolutionary efficiency. Backed by a 235 million US Air Force contract and support from major airlines, including United, Delta, and Alaska, the Z4 is expected to begin flight testing by 2027 with commercial rollout by 2030. It will carry up to 250 passengers in a spacious living room style cabin while delivering greater efficiency, reduced noise, and lower emissions. Military tanker versions are also in development. The Z4 doesn't just represent the next generation of air travel. It represents a fundamental rethinking of aircraft design itself. And will you need a pilot's license for this? Just a regular driver's license? How does that work? The short answer is we don't know. The <laughs> Speaking of revolutionary designs, Imagine an aircraft that takes off like a plane and reaches orbit like a rocket without ever dropping stages into the ocean. The Skylon space plane, developed by Reaction Engines in the UK, uses innovative Sabre engines that operate in two modes, air breathing up to Mach 5, then switching to rocket mode for orbital insertion. It can carry 12 to 17 tons of cargo and is designed for up to 200 missions, making space access routine rather than exceptional. With cutting-edge technology including 3D printed engine components and strong support from the UK government and European Space Agency, Skylon aims to make orbital flights as normal as commercial airline trips. This is the holy grail of aerospace, reusability without complexity, efficiency without compromise. Virgin Galactic is taking a different approach to space with its Delta-class space planes, next-generation spacecraft designed to fly private astronauts to the edge of space. Following the retirement of Spaceship 2 VSS Unity, the Delta fleet is expected to begin powered test flights by 2026, targeting up to two flights weekly. Each ship carries six passengers for several minutes of weightlessness and breathtaking Earth views from suborbital space. With tickets priced around $600,000 and over 700 customers already signed up, Virgin Galactic is transforming from experimental missions to a full commercial space airline. This represents something profound, space tourism becoming routine rather than exceptional. Now here's where things get truly weird, in the best possible way. The Xpeng Aero HT Land aircraft carrier is a six-wheeled all-electric vehicle that functions as a mobile launch pad for a two-seat flying car hidden in its rear compartment. Yes, you read that correctly. It's a ground vehicle that contains a flying vehicle. With over 620 miles of driving range and the ability to support six vertical takeoffs and landings per charge, it offers unprecedented versatility. Designed to fit in standard parking spaces and priced under $300,000, it's expected to hit production by 2026. Whether off-roading through tough terrain or launching into the sky above traffic, this hybrid vehicle represents a completely new category of transportation. Meanwhile, high above all of this, Sky is developing something equally innovative, a solar-powered stratospheric airship that hovers at 65,000 feet to provide satellite-like services without the extreme cost of space launches. This helium-filled platform is coated with solar cells powered by lithium sulfur batteries and stabilized with electric propellers, allowing it to remain fixed over a location for more than 24 hours. Backed by NASA, SoftBank, and the USGS, these high-altitude balloons can monitor methane leaks, detect wildfires, support broadband internet, and deliver real-time Earth observation. Positioned between drones and satellites, they represent a new frontier in atmospheric technology, quietly watching over our planet from the edge of space. For those who prefer luxury over altitude, the Bombardier Global 8000 is the ultimate expression of private aviation, capable of flying at Mach 0.94 and even surpassing Mach 1 during testing. This jet connects the world's farthest cities non-stop, London to Perth, Dubai to Houston, thanks to its 8,000 nautical mile range. The cabin offers four distinct zones, including a private bedroom, full-size bed, stand-up shower, conference area, and entertainment lounge. Advanced features like hospital-grade HEPA air filtration, low cabin altitude, zero-gravity seating, 
and lightning-fast Wi-Fi make every journey feel seamless. This isn't just a jet, it's business travel at near supersonic speeds wrapped in five-star luxury. The Dorone H1X takes personal flight in a different direction, literally from your driveway. This futuristic flying car fits inside a two-car garage and features a sleek tandem wing design with eight ducted fans and dual pusher propellers, reaching speeds up to 120 miles per hour with a range of 60 miles and 45 minutes of flight time. It's built for practical personal use. Carbon fiber construction, semi-autonomous joystick controls, anti-collision sensors, and a ballistic parachute prioritize safety. Certified under FAA light sport aircraft rules and chargeable on standard EV outlets, the H1X has over 500 pre-orders with global production planned for Saudi Arabia by 2027. The flying car dream is becoming everyday reality. What ties all these aircraft together isn't just technological innovation, it's a fundamental shift in how humanity thinks about mobility. We're witnessing the dawn of three-dimensional transportation networks where the sky becomes as accessible as roads. Some of these aircraft prioritize luxury, others efficiency, some chase speed records while others focus on sustainability. Together, they're building an ecosystem that will transform how we live, work, and explore. The question isn't whether this future will arrive. It's already here, taking shape in hangars and test facilities across the globe. The question is how quickly we'll adapt to a world where vertical mobility becomes normal, where flying taxis navigate urban corridors, and where the edge of space becomes a tourist destination. The sky revolution has begun, and it's more extraordinary than anyone imagined.